Hi, I'm John Ainsley from Doulos, and on this video I'm going to be comparing VHDL with System Verilog. I first came across VHDL around 1985 when the prototype VHDL LRM first came across my desk prior to the IEEE standardization process. At Doulos we've been delivering VHDL training since 1991 and the graph you can see on the screen here shows approximately the volume of training that we've delivered each year since then. You can see that training grew steadily throughout the 1990s, peaked around 2000, fell off after that point and has remained roughly steady year on year since around 2004 up to the current time. Compared to VHDL, System Verilog is a relative newcomer. We first started delivering System Verilog training around 2004 and the volume of training delivered has grown steadily year on year to the point where it's now overtaken VHDL. The rather tedious looking fragment of text you can see on the screen right now is an excerpt from the VHDL standard. It declares VHDL to be a hardware description language for use in development, verification, synthesis and testing of hardware designs. VHDL is known as a strongly typed language that puts a lot of emphasis on compile time checking. Indeed in VHDL folklore it's often said that once you get a fragment of VHDL code to compile successfully then there's a fair chance that it will run and do pretty much what you meant it to do. Much of the syntax of VHDL is taken from the ADA language and in practice today VHDL is used for RTL design and for writing block level test benches. Here's an equivalent fragment of text taken from the System Verilog standard. System Verilog is the natural successor to the Verilog hardware description language. In fact, System Verilog was originally touted as the industry's first HDVL, or a hardware design and verification language, as opposed to Verilog and VHDL, which were both presented as being HDLs, or hardware description languages. Compared to VHDL, System Verilog puts much less emphasis on compile time checking. System Verilog represents an evolution of the original Verilog language standard. System Verilog was inspired by many many features from VHDL and from C and it also incorporates classes taken from OpenVera. It incorporates assertions and assertions have a lot in common with PSL. In fact, at one stage in its history, Accelera, who are the organization who controls System Verilog, undertook an exercise to unify the semantics of System Verilog assertions, or SVA, with those of PSL. System Verilog also was inspired by many features of the Superlog language, in particular interfaces and DPI, or the Direct Procedural Interface. So all in all, System Verilog is quite a large language and it's sometimes described as effectively being several languages combined into one. This slide shows a laundry list of the main features in System Verilog and you can see they're grouped into features for RTL and general programming at the top, then assertions, then a bunch of features collectively known as System Verilog test bench, and at the bottom the APIs direct programming interface for, for calling C from System Verilog and also extensions to the Verilog VPI. So as a programming language System Verilog has a, includes many features that are in common with C and also has a lot of overlap with VHDL, features such as the VHDL package. System Verilog adds some very synthesis friendly notation sometimes known as concise RTL and has interfaces which as I remarked previously were inspired from Superlog. Assertions can effectively be regarded as a, a separate sub-language in their own right within System Verilog. Then the System Verilog test bench features support constrained random verification. On the right hand side of the screen you can see a checklist giving a rough comparison between these features of System Verilog and corresponding features in VHDL. 
You shouldn't take this checklist too seriously because if you d deep dive down into the fine detail you can find all sorts of detailed differences between the features. But very roughly VHDL broadly supports the same programming language features as System Verilog, has packages that are very similar to System Verilog, supports assertions in the guise of PSL as opposed to System Verilog assertions, and allows you to call C code. What VHDL misses is the synthesis-friendly concise RTL notation, interfaces, and the features for constrained random verification. Both languages, System Verilog and VHDL, are now supported by all the major tool vendors. Although System Verilog has had rather a checkered history with respect to compatibility between the various implementations. All the implementations are now pretty much in line with respect to many of the major features of System Verilog, particularly the RTL features and the test bench features. Now I'm going to start comparing how VHDL and System Verilog are actually used in the market. Recently at Dulos we conducted a survey where we asked what's your main RTL design language. The context for this survey was actually a UVM webinar. You can see the results on the screen here. So for FPGA design, VHDL was more widely used than System Verilog amongst the bunch of folks that we asked. For ASIC design on the other hand, Verilog was the dominant RTL design language and System Verilog was used more than VHDL. Now, these survey results are without doubt biased by the particular group of people that we asked, but nonetheless I think that they give some indication of the state of the market, and certainly it's our general experience that VHDL is widely used by FPGA designers worldwide, whereas Verilog has traditionally dominated as language for ASIC design, and System Verilog is now rapidly growing in adoption in that area too. It's also generally recognised that VHDL is particularly strong in Europe and in the military and aerospace sectors worldwide, whereas Verilog has historically dominated in other geographies and sectors. We then asked people what was their main verification language, and you can see rather a different result here. In the case of ASIC designers, System Verilog clearly dominates all other languages, whereas in the case of FPGA design it's rather a different story, with a much more even spread across the various languages. Other in this case includes both E, OpenVera, C++ and System C. Here you can see an analysis where we've tried to correlate design language with verification language. So across the top you can see the three RTL languages, System Verilog and VHDL, and down the left hand side the verification languages that folks used. Well I guess the most striking point here is that no one uses System Verilog or Verilog for design and yet at the same time uses VHDL as a verification language. VHDL is only considered to be a verification language by those who use VHDL wall to wall for both design and verification. On the other hand, there are folks using Verilog or VHDL as a design language and using System Verilog or some other language as a verification language. So, currently VHDL is alive and well and being used for FPGA design and in the military and aerospace sectors. System Verilog is the natural successor to Verilog and its adoption is growing quickly for design and for assertions, but particularly for constrained random verification. The main value add for constrained random verification is verification quality and also verification IP reuse. In this context, System Verilog UVM, that is the Universal Verification Methodology, seems to be emerging as the standard for building reusable verification components. In that context, System Verilog has some key differentiating features when compared with VHDL. Some VHDL enthusiasts like to point out that you can indeed do some elements of constrained random verification in VHDL. However, constrained random verification is not native to VHDL, nor are the features for building highly reusable verification components. And by that I mean taking verification components off the shelf 
and then using them in your particular verification environment, being able to modify them and customize them without having any access to the source code. That's the area where System Verilog and UVM really start to excel. The main value add for System Verilog, as opposed to any other verification language, is that System Verilog uniquely has tool support now from all the main tool vendors. So finally, if you want to know more about the HDL, System Verilog, UVM or any of the subjects shown on this slide, then we at Doulos are here to help. We deliver training classes. Do come and visit us at www.doulos.com.